So guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, most of my days nowadays are spent with me doing this. Guys, I don't know if this is normal, but Ando keeps falling asleep staring at these photos of rainbow rare Charizards. And ladies and gentlemen, that was happening all the way up until today, where none other than the incredible people over at Honey, they said they wanted to sponsor a video. So make sure you stay tuned to a bit later on in the video where I talk about how you guys can save money with Honey, and with their like sponsorship today, I managed to buy 127 Burning Shadows boosters. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you're not excited as me. I am so pumped up because you know what? I'm not only going to open every single booster in today's video, but say that we get to a point where we pull the Rainbow Rare Charizard and we still got all of these boosters left, I'm just going to give away the remaining boosters to you guys at home. So whatever's left, once we pull Rainbow Rare Charizard, dead set, I'm giving it away. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Ando, how do you get 126 boosters, right? Oh, uh, I think it's 126, 120, it's around that mark. How do you get 126 boosters? It is the most random story you're ever gonna hear. Basically, my friend on Instagram called Peace Center, he recently bought 500 Burning Shadows boosters. He bought them all via tins, because apparently, it's very similar to Hidden Fates. You have more luck finding a Charizard if you open up tins, right? So he went and bought 500 boosters. He opened up, I, I don't know, like, 370 something of them he didn't even get the charizard and after he opened 370 burning shadows boosters he put this lot right here this lot right here to the side and said you know what i financially can't afford to keep doing this if i'm not going to get the charizard i'd rather sell these booster packs and that's where uncle ando used his noodle and thought you know what if he's opened up 300 plus boosters out of his 500 and he's got these remaining and he still hasn't pulled the Rainbow Rare Charizard. I'm basically skipping over 400 or 300 boring boosters and we're getting straight into the meat and potatoes. Like, surely if you do the math, the Charizard has to be in here somewhere. It is, and like, what makes it even crazier, right? It's the last Charizard I need in the Hyper Rare set of Charizards. We're going to get a lot of hollows, by the way. I've sort of come to the conclusion, Burning Shadows is notorious for giving you absolute poo-poo and just a lot of hollow cards. Um, there's still a lot of cool, like, full arts, like Ho-Ho Full Art would be fantastic. Regular Charizard GX would be amazing. But it is a really, really ruthless set. I could definitely picture if I was opening up 500, I'd get deterred very easily. Like, I can't afford doing this anymore. And then, already off the bat, is a first ever GX. It's a Lazzle GX right there. We're going to see a bunch of doubles too. This is a particularly notorious card. So Lazzle GX, you'll see him everywhere. But guys, get a big bag of popcorn. It's going to be a fantastically fun time. We are opening up another huge open. If you guys love these massive bulk openings, by the way, only possible with uh, our friends of Honey coming through right now. But if you love these bulk openings... Demolish the like button because I want to do them all the time like we're gonna track down every ultra rare that I need in my collection By doing these bad boys in one individual video Then that's what I'm talking about already first flipping fuller is a Marchamp GX and oh Man's looking smooth Look at that. Oh, that is fantastic bedrock breaker and muscle punch GX Yo Oh my goodness I wonder if we'll get A, the Charizard, but B, are we going to open every single one? And if we do, what would that recap possibly look like? How many full arts? How many GXs? It's so up and down. And the thing is, we don't have any booster box ratio to go off. It's not like he pulled all of these out of booster boxes, and this is like roughly four boxes worth of packs. So roughly about four full art cards we should be expecting, four hyper rares. These are out of tins. So we've got nothing to go off. Now, i got to say, all of these cards are looking pretty minty fresh. And that does mean, uh, you know what sucks is I just sent my PSA send-off in. So if we did pull Rainbow Rare Charizard, he would have to go to PSA in my next send-off video, which would be in like a couple of months. But it gives me time to look at it every day and think, you know what? I've done it. There's another holo card. I've pulled every single Charizard. Oh man, this is just so exciting, dude. 
Phoenix Shadows is just, it's been that set that's haunted me. I it's going up in price so fast. Like, this alone is very expensive. Um, you can't find it anymore. And then, the, like, the Charizard. That thing has just remained at a absolute astronomical price. I don't even know how much it is right now. I didn't want to look it up because I thought I'd get scared. Oh! Darkrai miscut as anything. I think young Jonathan was eating his egg sandwich on the day he was meant to look over these cards and make sure they're not getting miscut. You know what? Darkrai GX? You, you, gotta, you gotta take it. You can't say no to that one. And let's just, uh, let's keep it going. We're gonna find it. You're just gonna have that positive outlook, boys. We're chucking down a Charizard. Even if it's an hour-long video, tell me you guys are staying around with me. You're gonna keep me company, and we're gonna bust open every single 100 plus of these boosters. But for your sake, I hope it's not. I hope it's like a 15-minute video, a 20-minute video, and I get to give away the rest of the booster packs to you guys at home. Oh, um, I know you guys really love the Rebel Clash giveaway, so this would make it even like Burning Shadows. It, and it's such a meme because I guess there could be a very good chance there is a second Charizard in there somewhere. But I'm not greedy. All I want is, I just want to pull one and that's it. Um, I, if you guys find it at home, I think it'd be hilarious. I give away the second Charizard, but that's fine. As I said, not greedy me. I just want to find one. I know how difficult it is. I know people that have opened, I think they opened a thousand plus of these boosters. I'm talking a thousand, like that's ridiculous. But they opened over a thousand, and they only got two Charizards. I think I stuffed the card trick up there. What the heck? Okay. We'll do this one. And then uh, I'm going to clean the setup, actually. And we'll talk a bit more about Honey. So let's open up this one. The f Oh, no. It's another solid green. That was... I tell you what. Some of these cards are brutally miscut. That code card is in shambles right now. Metapod, Semi-Seer, Hoot Hoot, Tangler, PewDiePie, Inke, Ralts, Kingdra, Slowking. Alright, let me reset the set. We've had amazing pulls so far. And let me talk to you guys about our amazing sponsor that made today's video possible, Honey. So I'm sure as everybody knows, online shopping, it's like meant to be really easy. But why is finding coupon codes to save money so difficult? Well, that's basically exactly what Honey is. It's a free online shopping tool that finds coupons and automatically applies them to your car for you for free. You can literally be shopping anywhere, whether it be like Etsy, whether it be Walmart, whether it be GameStop, all of these places that sell Pokemon cards, but you can be shopping anywhere. And basically when you get to the checkout, this little box will drop down and all you gotta click is apply coupons. Then you wait a few seconds for it to scan promo cards across the internet and watch the prices drop. And guys, I'm absolutely sure you can find something to use your discount code on, like not only Pokemon cards at GameStop, but also when I was randomly buying my favorite YouTuber David Dobrik's hood it popped up and saved me $2.50, which is pretty awesome. And it's absolutely crazy to see, but Honey supported over 17 million people and saved them over $2 billion, which is absolutely gnarly. But it's not surprising because it literally is accepted at over 30,000 stores. And literally by not having Honey, you could be passing up on free money. So make sure you go to joinhoney.com slash unlistedly. All it takes is two different clicks to install into your web browser. And boom, that's it. You're saving money. So make sure you go to joinhoney.com slash unlistedly to sign up today. Thank you again again to Honey for sponsoring today's video. Guys, it's absolutely terrifying because we haven't honestly made a dent in this uh, massive stack of boosters, but I'm sort of thinking if it takes us five years, it takes us five years. It takes us 20 hours, it takes us 10 hours, whatever. We're going to get through all of these boosters, and I just want to make it a massive video. I just want to make it something really special because I know you guys do love the big ones, um, and why not? Let's just do it. Let's just make this a public holiday of Ando finding the Rainbow Rare Charizard. But in the same time, I, I really do hope we can give you give you guys some boosters, give away some product right here. And by the way, we're going to give over 100 codes away today. So please only take one code each um, if you can. And then if you pull something crazy, you do end up pulling the Rainbow Edge Charizard, which by the way, has happened before. I've witnessed two people get a Burning Shadows Charizard out of my code cards I've given away online. Give me a tweet, give me an Instagram. I love crying myself to sleep over those epic polls. And there we go. That was a white and green, baby. Got a psychic type energy right there. Guzma, bodybuilding dumbbells, Rattata, Wimpod. Look at that Togedemaru. Wick wicky. And another holo card. As I said, Burning Shadows, notorious for the hollows. Notorious for just giving out the single GXs. 
But I do think this is the type of set that makes you really cherish and treasure the fuller cards. It grinds you down though. I know so many people that have done either a bulk opening like a case of this or they open a couple of booster boxes. Everyone gets like sad. Everyone just loses momentum. They can't do it anymore. They just keep seeing these holo cards. Like, and oh, it's so boring. Like, I'm not getting anything. I think for me, it's still a novelty that I even get to open up Pokemon cards. Like, as a kid, I was never allowed too many. It was like one a week if I was lucky. So when I get to do these, it's like every boost is just so much fun. Every pull is ridiculous. And I think it'd be cool to make a mini, like, Burning Shadows booster um, binder collection. You know, you could... I could make up a binder, right? And in that binder, it would just be what I managed to pull out of 120-something Burning Shadows booster packs. That would be awesome! And you just, like, have that as the title on the, uh, binder right there. Can you see something? I can see something. Krogunk? Oh no, Pikachu. Oh, dude, I thought that was something! I saw this right here! No way! Glossopod! Flipping full art! First impression, armor press and crossing cut GX. Dude, that is awesome. Look at that lime green. That's going to go perfectly with our Marchamp. This right here, Burning Shadows era. It, You know what it is? It's that prime era where they had a solid color background. So many people bagged it. Um, I know when they started introducing proper backgrounds again, everyone's like, yay. You can stop with this, the solid color fill background. It's so boring. It makes it pop, trust me. When we do the recap right, when uh, when you tune into the recap at the end of the video, it looks really good as a back-to-back um, -back color combination. And it also looks really good as a binder. When you put like solid colors together like they, uh, I guess, printed in Burning Shadows. Dude, it's fantastic. Super Scoop Up, Surviper, Tangela, PewDiePie, Inke, we've got a Ralts as well, Rhyma B, Tangrowth. What do you got here, Marshadow. Marshad is probably another really valuable card. I didn't really look up too many prices, I guess, before filming too. I'm not too interested in going after, like, ultra-valuable cards. There's just one card I'm dying to get, and the rest are just bonuses at this point. If it's a full art, awesome. If it's a GX, I'm just inevitable. DUDE! ANOTHER ONE! Oh, I'm feeling bad for Peace Center right now. I've got a feeling that he opened up all the poo, and then we're like... We've got the meat and potatoes. Like, we've got the actual meat and potatoes. Lycanroc GX. Man's looking like he was carved out a bit of clay. Look how, like, structured this thing is. Dude, like, high key, he's really structured. He's got Crunch, Accelerock, and then Lycan Fang GX as well. Kinda similar. It's actually the exact same color background as Marchamp for lot. Oh man, I wanna do a recap ASAP. You know what that means? We gotta pull Charizard ASAP then. Can't do a recap until I pull Charizard, or I've opened. Oh no, you imagine if I've opened every single one of these packs. And we don't get Charizard. Oh, I couldn't even. Don't even start with me, dude. Heracross. Let's keep it going, Marsha. Ah, oh, that thought, the thought of me doing all of this and going home empty-handed. It's a thought I don't want to have, but it's also a thought that's highly possible. People have done it, dude. It, like, this is not a crazy feat. But I think what saves, what's the saving grace is I know he's, already, he's like, bought 500 out of tins. Already opened 300 and something. We're just sort of finishing the job. And he never pulled a Charizard. So surely around the corner right here, at any moment there has to be. Otherwise it's 500 boosters of Burning Shadows and nothing. It doesn't seem possible. Surely there's one in here. I keep, That's how I did it. That's how I kept crunching the numbers, dude. Weavile. Let me just reset this camera. Alright, we are back and let's keep going. Yeah, you could just... I don't know. Keep going over those numbers in your head and it seems okay. Oh no, oh no, why is it stuck? It's a white and green as well. Please, oh please. You know what, I'd probably even take another full out at this point. Or another, I, actually give me a rainbow rare. I haven't seen a rainbow rare. Tormenting spray, heat more, Wimpod, it's shiny for sure. Krogunk, Pansia, Magikarp, Super Scoop Up, and then a Dark Roy! Flipping GX! Dude! He sent it got absolutely smashed! What the flip? This is crazy! Young Demotial Light button for this insane opening right now. Surely it's around the corner. The pools are heating up. Dead ends, Dark Cleave. Yo, Dark Ride GX is an absolute bang of a pull. But let's keep going. I feel like we're on a roll. We've got all of this and it does sink into like 
off the camera right there. Like, there's more boosters. Um, because it's a lot. I don't know how many... Ooh. It's like nearly four booster boxes or something worth of booster packs, so... I mean, it's a fair bit, but at the same token... I'm really hoping we can find it before we open everything right here. Knowing my luck, last or second to last booster. And I'm going to look like an absolute mug giving away one booster pack right now. What do we got? Let's go a ho-ho. You know what? Really want to see that bright orange background on that full art ho-ho. No, it's another solid green. There's the code cards. Let's go. Swing it around. Let's get an F in the chat for the uh, fairy types right here. Then Solophiles. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's, yeah, something something like that, but I know it's kind of wrong. Gloom, and then a Turdinator, looking real proud of good old Turdinator. All right. Good about, I wonder how many I've opened. I reckon we've got about 80, maybe 70 boosters left. So it's still a good amount, still a couple of booster boxes full. Man, I'm not going to clean all this stuff up again. It's quick, it builds up. Soul Rock, Escape Rope. Sandy Ghast, Venipede, Horsey, Mudbray, Ladybug, Knocked Out, and then Ho Ho GX. This is where it starts, you know? Starts pimping us, it's coming up soon. The Fuller card could be around the corner. No, but seriously, who was eating an egg sandwich on control day? Because what the flip is that? It's so miscut. When I was in reception, I was cutting out my coloring in sheets with more precision than the Pokemon Center printed that Ho Ho. Disgusting. Alright, put that into the side. There's another code card for you guys. <laughs> okay, I think it's starting to set in, guys. I think that, like, wariness. I've got to clean all this stuff up first. Lana, then Electabuzz. Does Lana have a full art card in the set? Can't remember. Tangler, Rhyhorn, Porygon Z, Butterfree. It's insane to say, but I never would have thought, like, back when I opened my first... It's on the channel three years ago. When I opened my first ever Burning Shadows booster box, who would have thought... Years later, I'm still hunting for the Charizard, and I'm doing, like, all of these insane pack openings. Doing, like, it's crazy. All of those ETBs. Apparently, like, Elite Trainer Boxes, very, very good way to get a Charizard. But the problem is, Elite Trainer Boxes are so expensive, and they come with a bunch of unnecessary stuff if all you want to do is get the Charizard. If you want to collect it, then fair enough, it's sick. But the problem with the ETBs is, yeah, you get, like, eight boosters or whatever. But you don't want to waste your money on getting the extra stuff. You just want the boost pack. So that's why tins are actually a good idea. And I think that's why Peace Center went and got the tins. Guzma, Butterfree. Come on, one more white and green, baby. Then I'm going to clean all of this stuff up right here. I'm going to take a deep... There we go, that's it. This is going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final booster. Surely one of these... I'm just running off adrenaline right now. Like, it's going to be in one of these, doesn't it? Semi-poor, have I gone crazy? Probably. Smash like, if gone crazy. More loot, Lunatone, oh dude! Another full up pull! This time, Accelerora, I think it is. Holy smokes! Yo, that is sick, it's got the sparkles in the background, you know it's legit. 142 out of 147, still not a secret rare. I don't think we pulled a secret rare today. What? We haven't pulled a secret rare yet, that's weird. Alright. Put you to the side. Let me clean all of this stuff up. Gee whiz. Alrighty guys, I am officially back. I had a quick lunch break. I sat down, had the old deviled egg sandwich, and I am back. And I am ready, after another cup of coffee, to open up the rest of these boosters. You know, I sort of was like cleaning it up and I was rearranging it. There is a lot to go. Like, I would say this looks like about three booster boxes, but it's probably more like two and a half, maybe two... Yeah, it's probably more than two booster boxes, actually. So I really hope that we can get it soon, because I'd love to give away around two booster boxes worth of Burning Shadows. And I would, oh, it'd be even better if the Rainbow Rare Charizard was inside of the stuff that I gave away on top of me pulling it. It'd just be the coolest thing ever. Sandy Ghast, send me see it. And then, already on the very first booster, is another severely miscut Alolan Mark. Why are they all miscut? What's the deal with, like, the chunky bottoms? I'd love to know. Like, if you guys leave a comment in the comment section below, when you open up Burning Shadows, are your cards miscut as well? Or is it literally just my luck today? I mean, maybe it's just part of the 500 boosters that the guy bought or got out of the tins. Um, and that print run was, like, really badly miscut. But I got a feeling it's actually a common issue with Burning Shadows. Because, like, there's certain sets that are printed immaculately. Like, no there's nothing at all wrong with them. And Japan's always pretty notorious for that. Like, they will always print A1 quality. 
Um, that's why when you send a card into PSA and it's a Japanese card, the really only thing that's going to go wrong with it is how you've taken care of it. Hence why, like, I'm always confident sending in Japanese cards to PSA because I'm like, you know what, I, I sleeve them straight away after the opening, I have them in top loaders or they're in a binder. I'm always, like, really confident we're going to get something good. Now, God, oh, God, I literally ripped the door off that one. But the thing with English cards is the printing factory is all over the shop. So you could take the best care of a card in the absolute world. You could rock it to sleep, sing its lullabies, you know, rock a bye, rainbow rare, in the treetops. When you pull a gold card, make sure your meatballs do stop. And you could literally uh, still get a PSA 0 if it's like severely miscut. Yes, I saw that one. It was a white and green. We've had a couple of dud ones. Come on, it's gonna be soon. I wanna get it. Look at the stack of boosters we could give away if we get it, young Jimmy. Tormenting Spray, Venipede, Horsey, Mudbray, Ladybug. We got a hoot hoot. And then none other than a regular Dark Ride GX. I thought that was another Alolan mark for a second. I'm gonna take another Dark Ride GX. That looks pretty good. I can kinda understand why this set has actually stayed at a really, really strong price and continued to rise and rise. It's because of the choice of Pokemon on top of the Rainbow Rare Charizard. Because there are sets that have Charizard in there that literally don't really rise as fast as this one or is like as sought after. I think because this one has such a high price Charizard in there, I'm pretty sure someone told me recently it's still sitting at well above 500 Australian dollars, which is bananas. Um, <laughs> that's actually pretty crazy to think about. Like, I could be pulling a five, over a $500 card today. I should probably look it up, shouldn't I? But I'm scared. Because I know the higher the price means how difficult it is to pull. As if we are still getting solar green codes. I might just start speed opening the rest of this so you guys don't get too bored. Um, on the solid green ones. But I think we've done good. Burning Shadows, it's such a tough one though. You can open, you saw the booster box we opened, you can open a whole thing. 36 packs out of a sealed box and just get nothing. It's so ruthless. Alright, I think we're going to start speed opening the solid green ones. So we'll go Pikachu right here and then a Butterfree. We are going to hunt down this Charizard. If it takes me five hours, as I said, it takes us five hours. And it's another solid... Oh, gee whiz. Still give away the code card, though. Make sure you only take one code at a time. We've got a Reverse Persian and an Electros. Alright, you go at the side. I mean, maybe... If I go... <laughs> okay, if it gets really bad... And we've opened every... Nice. We open every single booster, alright guys? And I have nothing to give away. At the end of today's video, I still want to give back to y'all. So I'm going to give away all the bulk to you. If you want it, if you want it. I'll do some giveaway and you guys can enter to take home, I guess, all the bulk. And maybe I'll give away some of the GXs as well. But I probably have to do... I, I, just, I just feel bad. What do we got here? Another Darkrai GX! That's the thing with the tins, guys. That's the thing. You can double up. It's like four boosters, new tin, new tin. So, I mean, we just must have got back-to-back -back tins right there. But another Darkrai. Out of all the GXs, it's probably one you want to double up on anyway. I think when this set came out, it was actually one of the most expensive GXs you could get. It's either really competitive or, like, everybody loved it. Another solid green right there. Let's open this bad boy. We've got Azumarill as the reverse, looking good. And an Electrive, regular rare. Alright. It's the Tapus. They're back again. As long as it's not Tapu Coco, Uncle Ando's doing okay. You know what? Let's go from the side, actually. I feel like going from the top of this isn't working. Oh, reverse Sandy Ghast. And another. Everyone say it with me. Regular rare. Going from the uh, left-hand side right here. But you know what? That doesn't do anything at all. It's still another solid green. Got the old snowman, the crab snowman of doom. And another regular rare. So let's go from the right hand side. Let's see what we can manage to get. Oh gosh. I incredible Hulk that one. Wow. It is solid greens left, right, and center. I had a feeling this would happen towards like the back of today's episode. We've just been doing too good for this to go like really smoothly at the end. There has to be so many solid greens somewhere, guys. Oh, I'm telling you, like, literally, we've been doing way too good for what this set is. This set is supposed to be ruthless. And we're out here pulling GXs. We're out here pulling full up cards. All right, let's do another one. It kind of hurts me because everything we're opening 
is either potential giveaway material and they're also really expensive and rising in price booster packs too. It's probably equivalent of doing like a uh, it hurts me as much as doing a massive base set opening or something. Okay, so we've got an Inke, Lady Bar, Caterpie. I just want to get it. I want that feeling of opening a booster and finding none other than a Marshadow GX. Not too bad. Shadow Hunt beat down and peel us 100 blows GX with 50 times. It's not a Charizard, but it's still a GX. Can't be too mad at that. It feels good. It feels good living the GX days again, you know? Happy times. What were you guys doing when uh, Burning Shadows came out? Do you guys remember that far back? Were you collecting Pokemon? I've sort of come to the realization now that so many people um, weren't even collecting in the Burning Shadows era. Like, so many people got into their collecting about like 2017, 2018, which is crazy to me. Like, I remember... I don't know, I just remember getting into it as a kid, and I have vivid memories of seeing base set Pokemon cards and begging my dad to buy me a booster pack of the base set. And it's crazy, it's like, when people come up to me, like, yeah, I started collecting in 2018. Like, holy smokes! It's only two years ago, that's crazy. When did you start collecting? Leave a comment. That was another solid green. It's a Turtonator. Guys, there is so much bulk. It's terrifying! Thank you so much for sticking with me, guys. I need someone to keep me company when I do these huge openings, and I know you guys absolutely love them. And I really do appreciate you sticking around. Okay, so we get a darkness. It was a white and green, baby. Got a Ronaby, Pansier, Magicka, Mudbray, Rattata. It's a, oh, we're back to the hollows. You know what? We haven't seen a hollow in a hot minute. That was probably uh, inevitable that we're going to get a hollow there. And of course, it's going to be Gyarados. And then it goes in like a bit of a low bro there. Got the uh, solar green, reverse Buffalant, and a regular rare Persian. Alright, we're working down the uh, left hand side right here. Maybe I have to go from a side booster again. It's another solar green. What do we got? A Lolan Vulpix. And then everyone's favorite fun guy. It's a. <laughs> okay, that was a dad joke. Um, I apologize. I'm sorry. Let's put you to. Oh, no! Okay, we're going for the side. We're going to go from the side again. Weakness policy reverse and Electros regular rare. What do we got? Okay, we got a couple of ho hos and then we got a uh, Marshadow. But then we also got a Solid Green Cone card. Okay. Whoa, what do we get here? Electrive again. Okay, surely I've got a complete set of the uncommons, commons, and regular rares by now. Probably even got a complete set of the holo cards. I can't imagine there's any we haven't got yet. I'm so curious. I could kind of relate to um, Pokemon Center when he's telling me about how he sort of just gave up. He bought 500 boosters, but it just got to a point where he's like, I gotta sell the rest because there's nothing in here. In my head, I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I'm gonna find at least five Charizards before the 10 minute mark of this video. Now I understand the hunt and how it's so difficult to pull anything at all. It's Tapu Fini GX. We are back with the Tapus. All right, let's put Tapu the uh, water bender from Avatar The Last Airbender to the side and we'll see how we go. Put you right there. Oh man, all right, can we just get these two right here and this is gonna be our pile. Let's just do this front row first and then we've just got these two bad boys to go and that's it. Then we know it's all over. We're gonna do the sides first. Put you to the side and we have another solid green. Oh, I guess we'll do this one. Just just for old time's sake. Got a darkness type right there. Surviper, Lana, Tormenting Spray, Charmander. Come on, it's gotta happen. Stuffle, Pansage. I don't even know what minute mark this would be in the video right now. But I know we're deep. We're deep in the video. Thank you so much for Honey for making this possible though. Like, honestly, without them, I wouldn't even thought of this idea. But today's the day. You know what? Let's just open that. It was a solid green, wasn't it? Porygon 2. And then we got Meow Stick. Okay, not too bad. When I sort of have it like this, it kind of worries me. Like, I can kind of visualize the end right now. I'm looking at three piles. And that's it. After that, I have... That's it. I don't really have a backup plan. I just will go home never owning a Charizard because... I think I've exploited all my chances. If I don't get it here, Ando's never meant to have a Charizard. From Burning Shadows. Meryl, Pansage... Vile Plume Holo Card. You know what? I haven't got too many of those, if any, today. Not too bad. I'll get around to Vile Plume Holo. You still really love Vile Plume as a Pokemon. 
just thought it was the coolest, like, design ever. And then... Yeah. Seems to be a bit of a tradition. 600 regular solid greens. And then you get your one white and green code card. Got a lightning type, a letrite, Buffalant, Semipore, Meryl, Hoo Hoo, Rhyhorn, Ralts, then a Tangela, Heracross, Tangrowth. Ho Ho time. Let's go. Let's get a Ho Full Art. Let's get another Full Art card. I haven't seen a Full Art in ages. It's a solid green code card, which leads us to have a weakness policy and then a Raquinid. Now, is this a Tapu again? Yeah, it was. A lot of Tapus remaining. Oh, here we go, boys! It's white and green, you know what that means. Something's coming up. Surely, Psychic Type, Semi Sage, Noctowl, Dusclops, Stuffle, Pan Sage, Krogunk, Pikachu, Pampor, Rhydon, and then Zygarde. Dude, this set has all the Pokemon, I swear. Left, right, and center. Fantastic choices. All right, put you to the, oh gosh, put you to the side. It's another solid green. Got a Gloom Reverse, not too shabby. Another Araquanid. See him everywhere now, he's haunting my nightmares. Open you up, swing you around. You guessed it. I think it's another re regular rare. And then beware Claymation form, the creepy bear. Okay, Necrozma, it's your turn to shine, buddy. As if Charizard's not like an absolutely epic forefront mascot of the set. He's really, really low-key, isn't it? It's like, oh, yeah, th there is a Charizard in there. Like, we'll hint at it here and there, but we're not going to really put it in your face that so that's the Hunt for card. And then I guess, like, surprise, he was in the set. I wonder how hyped Charizard was leading up to the set or if they really just surprised everybody. I vaguely remember the Japanese set of this, but not too much. Oh, my goodness. We are just giving away code cards right now. Wobbuffet, oh no, and then a Butterfree, regular rare. The final four boosters, and then it's the last two towers, and that's all I have for today. No, please do not let me do this in vain. Please let me find something, I'm begging you right now. Metal type, no way, this is going to be like an hour opening, and Ando finishes with nothing. Hoot Hoot, Volpix, Ralts, Grimer, Tormenting Spray, oh no, it's another flipping double up of a holo card. It's Zygarde Hollow, Sapovini, third to last one, and I've done both it. Okay, 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 baby, that's it. White and green, that's what I like to hear. <sighs> I haven't, I, oh my god, have, when's the last time you saw a full art card? Let alone, like, Rainbow Rare. Super Scoop Up, Electabuzz, come on, Cutie Fly, Dabbing Dust Skull's a good sign. It's a Raichu holo card. They are giving us so many different holos right now. The recap is going to be absolutely fantastic. It's going to be awesome to look at. And it's another white and green. Come on, you can't give us three holos in a row. Surely that's not possible. I'm getting desperate. Darkness type energy right there. Wishful Baton. Wick Wicky. Then we've got PewDiePie. Rhyhorn. Riolu. Cutie Fly. And then... Oh! Dude, they gave us another holo card! This time it's Deancey, putting you to the side. This is it! This is the last booster and then I have the two towers and that is it! I basically opened 500 boosters because he's already opened 300 and something and got nothing. Could this be the most unforgiving opening of all time? I did- oh my goodness, I've done the math so many times in my head, guys. Like... Do I look, I'm going to Google the ratio right now because, what is it? One in every how many boosters do I find a Charizard? No, guys, listen to this. Uh, there are 12 Hyper Rares in Burning Shadows, which means Charizard GX would have the ratio of 1 in 864, or AKA 1 in every 24 booster boxes. Oh no. Oh, flipping no! I did the math wrong. There is a chance, a really, really good chance that we're not finding it. That is it. What kind of cooked ratio is that? Did you hear that? One in every 864 boosters. What modern day card has a ratio of one in every six, 864 boosters? So if my man opened 500, 
Yo, dude, he's actually spot on as to why he sold it. I totally understand now. I should have done this math earlier. Oh, no. Hang on, why, why did he open 500? What, what kind of, what, what logic was that? Buying 500? Why don't you, if you're going to buy 500, buy 864, because then you're pretty much guaranteed. Although I suppose in your head, you're not going to think, there's no way I'm going to get it. 500 boosters, I'm surely going to get it. No, dude. The Charizard is one in every 20, one in every 24, I, I'm going to vomit. It's one in every 24 boxes. Do you know how insane that is? Another holo card. A Charizard to be... Dude, that's... That's four cases. One in every four cases. So then that means it's like... Say when the set came out, a case is like 1,100 Australian. One Charizard per about four and a half grand of booster boxes. Oh my goodness. Another Marshadow. This time, regular GX... Come on, I just want another full art card of some kind. We haven't seen much at all. Another Rainbow Rare would be fantastic. Same four, Marshadow Rainbow Rare would be awesome. I'm really freaking out right now because I think it's starting to dawn on me how insane and ridiculous this video was from the get-go. Ando's made a huge mistake, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, no, 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 please don't say that. Come on, we just got to believe in the heart of the cards. Everybody, please concentrate. If you haven't demolished your like button, please do it for me. I've got to do it. I have to find it. I've worked so hard for this. All right, Marchamp GX. We're checking off the boxes. We're building this. Oh, no. We're building the sickest recap actually known to mankind. There's not been a cooler recap assembled ever. But, guys, there's one card that we are dying for. I've never, ever pulled it. Once in Japanese, and that is it. It's the only memory I have of this set. It's in Japanese player. No way! It's a flipping art uh, Stolopolis or whatever his name is in a full art form. Looks fantastic. It is epic. Oh, I saw the silver right there. I got so excited, ladies and gentlemen. But this is a nice... Well, dude, the literal Wikipedia page for Pokemon does not know his age. Leave in the comments. Guess what age he is. <laughs> Apparently it really ranges, like it goes, guesses go from like 7 years old all the way to a teenager or something. I don't know, I love his scarf, Pikachu scarf, little Pikachu toy. That is a beautiful card though, Pokeball reference on his like little remote control toy, Game Boy reference, a lot of cool stuff happening there, that is stunning, I love it. That's our luck turning around, that's our luck coming to Gold Town right now, and being like, you know what, Ando you just gotta keep, you just gotta keep going, at any moment. Rainbow Ray Charizard is gonna be, it's gotta be in here. Okay, so we got a Gloom and a regular rare Persian Necrozma time. Dude, I think it's coming close to us getting into the like the last, I wanna say booster box ish. So let's go four, swing it around. We got Fairy, Porygon 2, Semi Sage, Toga tomorrow, with a sock, Mud Bray, Oddish. Dabbing Dust Skull, and then another flipping Darkrai GX. Are you playing with my uncle SpaghettiOs or what? This is our third one in this return after the lunch break. Oh, is anyone getting sick of the artwork? You still like it? I still love it. Darkrai is one of those Pokemon that, as I think I mentioned this before in a video, is my first ever event Pokemon. Like, I had to go to Target. I had to convince my mum to go to Target, which means I had to do all these chores. Mum finally agreed, then we got to go to Target, I got to go to the Wi-Fi section in the video game area, and I got to get my first ever event Pokemon, and it was Darkrai. Um, and I still have it with me to this day. So, it was a big deal for me, and I think that's why Darkrai has always holds a special spot in my heart, and I think you guys like him as well. What do you guys think of Darkrai? Fan favourite or not? Alright. Keep going. Oh, yep, baby, that's it, that's all I need, that's all I need. Just keep giving me white and green. Give me a little bit of glimmer of hope. That's just a bit of a shine. If it's a rainbow rare, then even better. Livia, Kawaii. Then we got an Oddish, Duskull, Esper, Morlu, Porygon. <sighs> it's another holy card. This time it's Gyarados. Alright, crack you open. 
Is it another one? Yep, that's it, that's it, that's it. You gotta massage it. As I said, sing it good night. White and green. <sighs> okay. Fairy type, Po Town. We got a heat more, Sandy Gast. One in every 24 booster boxes, guys. The scariest flipping statistic all day. Yes, that's a banger. I've never pulled it before. Full art, no crossma. GX. Yes, that is sick. That is an awesome pull. Oh, the colors in this like eyeball area, I guess. And then like the purple background, the texture. That's what I'm talking about. Give me more of these. We've had such a dry streak. It feels like. Now we're getting somewhere. First we've got that trainer supporter full art. Now we're getting Pokemon full art. And it's Necrozma too. With the purple. Oh man, I'm really pumped up for this recap. It, you know what? Even if we don't get the chart, Say the worst thing in the world happens. We somehow open the world's last supply of burning shadows. I open nearly a, a hundred plus boosters. And we don't get it. You know what? At least we're going to have something cool to look at. At least I'm going to give away all of this bulk and I'm going to get the sickest recap ever. It's because of the way these cards are designed. The GX era full arts, the solid, uh, solid, it's not just solid green, it's solid whatever color background. Makes the card really, really pop. Oh gosh, I tell you what, a full day of opening 100 plus boosters takes it out of you, man. It's uh, quite the workout. Don't worry about going to gym. Buy a couple booster cases if you really want to get it. Get buy uh, four booster cases of Burning Shadows and go to town. Guys, is that my next vi- Don't, don't, don't. No one in the comments tell me, Ando. This was a pathetic effort. Go get. Let's see, is it six or four? I can't remember. I don't, I don't want to buy more booster- Because booster cases of this set are like two grand Australian right now. I can't afford that. Oh my goodness me, it's another white and green. Come on. Oh, that's actually minty. All those cards are damaged except the end one. I was thinking, dude. All right. Psychic, Semi Sage, Noctowl, Dusclops, Rattata. Then we're going to Wimpod, Toga Tomorrow, Sock, Mudbray, and then. How many Gyarados holo cards? Actually, I don't even think Gyarados is the worst defender. I think there's actually some other holo cards. We've got so many of it, it's been ridiculous. Guys, are you looking at that pile? Let me just show you. Reverse Turnator. Alolan Raticate. Are you looking at that pile though? It is so low. And I still, I still want to give away boosters. Like this and this is all I got to give away still. Open you up. And that's it. Another white and green. Oh, you'd kill me if it's on like the very, very last booster. That would absolutely suck. Soul Rock. Then we got Semi Paw, Cutie Fly, Grimer, Riolu, and then Slazzle GX. Look at him. He's so happy. He's like, yes, I finally got pulled and Ando didn't find the Charizard. No way. We, we're going to do it. We're going to get to the end of this pile right here. And oh my god. It's going to be so nerve-wracking, knowing that you've only got like one full stack to go and then that's it. All my chances are out the window. I mean, if you guys really want the return of a Burning Shadows opening series, I mean, I can try and track down a case worth of this set, but I think it'd just be dumb. The set's like so expensive and I know the Charizard's expensive, but oh my goodness. It would be crazy and especially because this set's so hard to pull anything. I'm just ranting. I think I think I bit off more than I can chew. I didn't realize how difficult it'd be. All right, let me finish this off, and then I really got to clean up this area. There are so many Pokemon cards everywhere. Put you to the side. No way! Please don't let it end. Rhyma B, and then Persian regular rare. It's gonna do it, isn't it? It's gonna come all the way down. Oh, I can't tell you the satisfaction level if we get a Charizard today. We haven't even seen regular... I would take a regular Charizard right now. Porygon 2. Glimmer of Hope. Charmeleon. Wabafet. Meowth. Vulpix. Wimpod. Togetomaru. Krogunk. And then Marchamp GX again. We are getting all of the GX cards. Left, right, and center. They are fantastic. But let's get something we haven't got before. That's what, oh, no, is that four? Yep, that's literally four. That's four, and we are done. And we have one pile left, and that's it. We have to call it a day. 
I'm hanging my hat up. No, I made a mistake. Alright. Open you, put you to the side, and it's a white and green. That <laughs> Look at that code card, it said CCC, BVV. Okay, put you, swing around. We got a water type. Borfalant. Then we got Olivia, PewDiePie, Togedemaru, Wimpod, Meowth, Magikarp, Stuffle, and then the regular version of Necrozma. This is a good sign, alright? So we got the full art. Got the regular version. Let's keep it going. We're on a good roll. You smell that? Yeah, it's Charizard time. Something's in the oven. It's cooking. It's getting preheated. There's the code card. <sighs> Regular rare. Okay, I think I miscounted. We've got three boosters to go. Open you up. No way. There's the code. As I said, I'll give all of this away. If you guys need some extra bulk to get your uh, Burning Shadows collection on point, this is what I'm doing for you. I'm going to divide this up and give to people if we don't get the Charizard, which it is not looking likely as if it's going to come down to the final stack. Oh my goodness, I thought it was set, Mac. I thought there is literally no possible way man's going to bought 500 boosters and not in a single pack. Yo, it's it. Look at this. That was a solid green. It's down to the last flipping pile. This right here is the last stack. If it's not in here, then ladies and gentlemen, this video was it. This video was like a waste. Alright, let me clean it up. When I return, we are opening the final stack. And we're going to open everyone normally. Not look at the code. Well, try not to look at the code. And let's get it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am trying so hard not to cry right now, but this is it. This is literally it. Like, once we've done this, I'm finished. I'm done. I have no more Burning Shadows packs to open. We're going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's just do it. I'm going to really start myself up right now. Because, let's be honest, if we don't get a Charizard, um, it, it, there's nothing more I can really do. I can go and buy more packs, maybe, but I don't know if I, know, I, I even have the strength to try and do that right now, because what we did today was insane. And I'm praying it's not in vain, and we can go and get something. This was a white and green, but once again, it is a Dust Nor Holo card. I'm going to try so hard to keep my composure... Can I just say, the victory, when if we can pull Rainbow Red Charizard, it is going to be undeniably the best pull of the entire channel this year. It's the hardest, it's like the longest running search for anything I've ever done on the channel. And I wanted it to come to an end in one episode today. I thought this is, has to be it. There is no way we're going home today without one. And ladies and gentlemen, I think, ah, uh, I don't want to say it's going to happen. It's got to be in this, like, it is crazy to say that the man's gone and opened 300 before us. We've finished it off. I've gone and bought these, and we've finished it off. And we still haven't even seen remnants of a Charizard. I am beside myself how difficult this is. The biggest task known to mankind. Morlu, Caterpie, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandy Gast, Oddish. Let's keep it going. If you're on this home stretch with me, I want you to leave a comment right now saying, Ando, I believe you can get the Charizard. I have to harness everybody watching today's video. I'm harnessing all of your power. And I'm going to pull it. It is going to happen, Pansia. I have never wanted one individual card more. Shining Charizard was easier to get than the Burning Shadows original Rainbow Rare Charizard, and I think that's for a reason, because the Rainbow Rare Charizard out of Burning Shadows is literally the non-coloured in version of the Hidden Fates Charizard. So today, we are doing something that this is going to complete every circle I have. It would just be unreal. And then I also got to pray that if I grade it, it's going to be PSA Gem Mint 10, but I'm not grading it for a while. I'm sent off my PSA returns. It will be in my collection every day I wake up. I will kiss the top loader that the Rainbow Red Charizard is in. And that is what will happen. We have to pray for more white and greens though, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we are whittling away at the last tower. And all I am seeing is solid green co-cards. Meowth, Stuffle, Pansage. I want to apologize right now. I thought I'd be giving away so many more boosters. There we go! It's a white and green! Please, I am going to be in tears! <sighs> you ready? Let's go. Poe Town, Rhymabee, Curlia, 
Cutie Fly, PewDiePie, Toga Tomorrow, Wimpod, and then none other than another Marshadow GX. But we're gonna keep moving forward, ladies and gentlemen. Marshadow GX goes right there. Yes, we have to do a recap. I'm gonna get there first. Oh no, it's so little. The, oh my gosh, the chances of us doing this, they are like so slim. Oh, it's like the video. As further it got, like, it got deeper into the video, the worse and worse I was feeling in my stomach about this. Heracross. This is it. This is it. This is all we have. This is all I have. <sighs> Burning Shadows in Australia, you can't buy. It's not like just at the store or whatever, right? Otherwise, I'd probably, i get addicted. I'd drive down to Target right now. Oh, no. Four from the back. Please, Arceus. Arceus, buddy, if you're up there, you've got to come down. Curlia, Olivia, Pansage, Esper, Noibat, Stuffle, Zygarde. Wow, that Zygarde's a reverse and a Holocon? That's pretty insane. Put you to the side, and it's another. Oh, no. It's another solid green, dare I say it. Fire-type energy. Then a Noctowl, Rhydon, Charmander, Crab Ruler, Stuffle, and then... Let's keep going. Alright, we're gonna Necrozma. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Fairy-type energy. Let's get an F in the chat for that one. Seedra, Tynemo, Dabbing Duskull again, Inkay. Crab Ruler, Charmeleon, and Heracross. We have to be on like the last, I don't know, six or seven. What do you. Oh, just stop! Stop giving. It's like it hurt. It literally hurts seeing that right now. But I'm doing it. I'm opening every one of these properly because we are finishing it off with a salute to Burning Shadows. This may be my last ever opening of the set. I think it's actually going to curse me. Oddish, Dabbing Duskull, Morlu. This is it. We are. Oh, we're getting so dangerously close. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. For everybody that's watched this far, don't let me down. You are a white and green. You bring hope. You're meant to join the. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're not reciting Star Wars lines. Swing it around. Here we go. Here we go. Unlisted Lee. Surviper. Come on. Tangela. Rhyhorn. Riolu. And then it's Ho Ho! GX! Regular! Miss cut again! Put you to the side, I'm not here for a regular Ho Ho. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, it's another one. Just as we enter the final lot. Four. From the back. <sighs> Unless the leaf energy. Rotom Dex. I'm gonna cry. Meryl. Rhyhorn. Then we got Sandy Gas, Poot Poot, and then none other than a golden super super! Oh no, what does this mean? We pulled a golden secret rare card! It's, yep, 166 out of 147. There are so many secret rares and we didn't pull hardly any in this opening! Oh, that's so scary! That's not what we're looking for, but it's still a good pull! Ladies and gentlemen, we pulled a gold card, but I don't know how I feel about that. Does that take away a slot, or is this just so mixed in that randomly, boom, that's it, doesn't matter. Super scoop up, full art, gold card. This is the fifth to last one. Fifth to last. Four to go. Yep, that's it. That's it. I'm crying. No way I've wasted my whole day and all this booster pack opening. I feel like I've wasted your time. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. Swing it around. Fire type. Metapod. Then Alana, Electabuzz, Krogunk, Pikachu, Pansia, Charmander, Rattata, Porygon 2, Mudsdale, 4th, to last. Booster, there you go, there's the code card. 4 from Zibak, 3 to go after this. Arceus, please, if you're up there, Potown, Rhymabee, Curlia, Magikarp, Mudbray, Rattata, Pampor, Caterpie, Lycanroc, Marshadow. This is a third. Third to last booster pack. Please. Please. Rub the genie's belly for good luck. Four. From the back. Oh, mama. Metal type. We've got a Guzma. Rhymabee. 
Pansir, Charmander, Rattata, Porygon. <sighs> there is two. There is literally two. And that's it. This is the second to last. If we don't get it on this one, it has to be in the final one. Open this up. Those crinkle. Yes. 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 Oh my gosh, this could be it. This could be the last white and green that we've got. Alright, everyone. Stay calm. Stay cool. Stay collected. I've got the shakes. semi -seer. Porygon 2. There is a Charmeleon right there. Does that mean something? I don't know. Oh! No way! Oh, no! Oh, no! Holy smokes! It's a flipping rainbow rare, but not the one we're looking for. We got two secret rares right now. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I can't deal. We got two ultra rares, but they're both not Charizard. Oh. Rainbow rare, Alolan Mark. You can see the color a little bit. Makes me, makes me wonder what Charizard would be looking like out here. It's a sick card. It's fantastic. But we have one booster left. I have to try not to look at the code, all right? Alolan Muck, you were great. I'm going to do another recap in a second, guys. We'll look at the Rainbow Rare. But this is it. This is the last boost. I've opened every single booster today. Look at that. Look at that shake. All right. I'm going to try and close my eyes. I'm going to look at you guys. I'm going to try and peek. All right. Code's on the other side. Code's on the other side. Bang. Flip it. There you guys go. And this is it. This is it. Electric. Do you guys reckon? Horsey, Mudbray, Ladybug, Hoot Hoot, Volpix, Gyarados Reverse, and then the final pull. What is it? Please tell me right now it's Charizard. Pikachu, I'm thinking we're gonna need a big old F in the chat because when we pan down here, even as we look at all of these GX cards, all of the doubles, there is not even a single Charizard GX, let alone an ultra rare rainbow rare Charizard. Let's look at that. We got one rainbow rare. How are we expecting to get a rainbow rare Charizard? I don't know. I mean, the best part was probably the full arts. The variety is really sick. And we got so many different holy cards. So let's go for everything that we got today, I guess, but... Uh, it's not ending in a Charizard, I'm sorry. So as we do look at the Hollows, holy smokes, Gyarados came up four different times. Then we'll get a couple of doubles here and there, you know, Zygarde, Raichu and all that. One individual Porygon Z, which looks pretty cool, got a Deancey. Then as we pan up here, all of our GXs. What in Aunt Jemima is going on? We got four Darkrai GX cards. That is unbelievable. Then we got Alolan Muck as well, Necrozma, two Ho-Hos, and then we also got a uh, Marshadow three times over, two Salazzles and two Marchamps. Then as you come up here, it's the epic rainbow skittled color of goodness. It's all of the full arts. So it starts off with a purple Necrozma, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. All of these look amazing, by the way, together. Then we're gonna Marchamp, Darkrai, Glossopod, Lycanroc, and then we're gonna have two different trainers, which I absolutely love the artwork on. And I suppose, last but not least, we've got our secret rares right at the top. Let me just move a bit closer. Look at that. They are the only two secret rares that we've managed to pull. If this was any other set, we'd probably call it like an error box, like this was rigged. But this is Burning Shadows. It is the harshest known set to mankind, and I think this explains it quite well. But, I don't want to end this video because I want to appreciate every single person that made it right to the end, if you made it to today's recap. So, I'm going to show you guys the giveaway. So guys, what you are looking at right there is the entire recap, but it's missing all of the doubles. So these are just one pull of every individual card that we got today. And that is because right here is all of the double ups that I want to give away to one lucky comment. I feel like one person down below can win the entire lot right here. It would make a really cool play piece for your collection maybe. And I really still want to do a giveaway for everyone that made it to the end of today's video. So literally all you have to do to win all of these cards right here is demolish the like button and then down below leave a comment. But the comment has to be incorporating the phrase 
Shadows Burning. That's right, the set name, but backwards. That's hopefully to, uh, you know, get everyone that made it to the end of the video to write a uh, comment and be entered in, without giving it away too obviously. So, as long as your comment incorporates that phrase, and you've demolished the like button, and you're subscribed to the channel, that's the main thing. We want to get to 2 million subscribers. Um, I'll pick one of you guys in like 14 days and give you the lot of cards right here, which should be pretty interesting. Thanks again for watching. Thank you again to Honey for sponsoring today's video. And let me know in the comments as well, should I do another search for the Rainbow Red Charizard?